Today's video, I'm gonna go over the best settings you should be using in MLB The Show 22. Whether it's hitting, pitching, or fielding, hopefully you can learn some from this video. But before we get into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We post daily MLB The Show 22 news, tips, gameplay, anything you need to learn about MLB The Show 22, you can find on this channel, so hit that subscribe button. We're starting out on the mound, and as you can see, this is the view that I use in terms of pitching. But really with pitching, you can use whatever you feel most comfortable with as you should with hitting. A lot of people will say that pinpoint's the best and in terms of accuracy they're right. Pinpoint gives you the best user input. So if you get a perfect pitch on it it's generally going to end up in around the same area that you want it to. I always use pure analog and generally it's actually considered one of the worst in terms of accuracy but it's what I feel most comfortable with. But if you're somebody just coming to the game and just trying to find something you feel comfortable with I would stick with meter. It's generally considered the second best in terms of accuracy or pinpoint. It's by far and away the hardest to learn, but if you get it down, your pitches are going to be looking pretty good. And then I like strike zone just because it gives me the view that I use for hitting. Just in my mind, it lets me see another view even though I'm pitching. It lets me get my view for batting. I like to think that helps me decide a little bit on where balls are located a little bit more. So like if a pitch is borderline, when I hit, I might be able to tell a little bit more, but really it has nothing to do. So this is what we're looking with and I have pinpoint right now just to kind of show you so we're rocking the cutter and just show you how bad i am at it see i'm terrible at pinpoint i've just never been able to figure it out i want to see if i can get one though jesus christ oh, okay i may have figured out pinpoint Oh shit, right down the middle again. But if you're new, I strongly recommend coming in here and learning Pinpoint because like I said, if you get it down, it's probably your best bet. But I always have used pure analog at least for the past few years and it's led to a lot of mistakes, but I just feel very comfortable with it. I'm at least able to locate my pitches and the channel vicinity. I can dot them up on the corners. I can locate on just outside, just inside pitches if I need them to be. Two strike pitch, I'm able to throw these backdoor cutters, locate it right on or right off the zone. So that's what I use for pitching. It's more so just a comfort thing. With pitching, I've always liked doing the view of the batter, but some people like being able to see their pitches so they can just locate it where they want to, kind of right outside, that is a terrible pitch. But now you're able to see it from the pitcher's perspective instead of the hitter's. Like I said, I prefer just seeing it from the hitter's perspective. It helps me when I bat. So now we're gonna go over to the field and talk about fielding. So for fielding, you always wanna have button accuracy. It takes any RNG bullshit out of the game and essentially you're gonna have a meter, you get in the green, which it's really easy do it's going to be an accurate throw i like having full control over errors and non errors if you have buttons and you're just pressing the button there's always the possibility you could get some bullshit throw that could cost you in the long run so button accuracy is a must have same with throw canceling you play some toxic bullshit online so being able to cancel your throws is definitely key and now when the ball is hit all i gotta do is watch it go right over the wall okay when the ball is hit now i did he just go back to back on me Jesus Christ, what is going on, Corbin? When the ball is hit. Oh my God, dude. They're teeing off on Corbin. Kane. Oh, he tracked that down. Dude, they don't hit anything on the ground, do they? Oh my God. They're teeing off. But if I press triangle now, I just got to get it right in that green middle, which like I said, isn't too difficult. And it'll make an accurate throw over to second base. Okay, ground ball, I'm gonna press L1. L1, easy throw, it's gonna go right to the cutoff main accurately every single time. Dude, they're actually teeing off on Corbin. All right, we're gonna go to second here. You see, we are able to get right in the middle of the green and Yelly's not gonna throw. Okay, more times than not, they're gonna throw it. Straight up, man, they don't hit any ground balls, do they? No, they just hit bombs. It's the trash can Sabasco all over again. <laughs> Smokes it. Triangle, right in the middle, we throw the second, but you get the gist. I like having control over the user interface, making sure that no errors are made in the field, and that if I actually do field it cleanly and make the right uh, accurate throw, then I don't have to worry about some RNG bullshit happening. Whatever, there's fielding. But now we're gonna go over to the hitting side of things. This is the view that I use for hitting, but just like pitching and everything else, it's more about a comfort thing. My hitting view is strike zone. I know a lot of people like to use offset, offset zoom, just a little further out so they can see the full body of the batter. I use strike zone because I can more clearly see the corners of the plate. It allows me to read better if a pitch is just slightly off compared to offset where it's further away and it's really hard to tell that split 
like inch or two difference between a ball and the strike. Input types gonna be buttons. You have X for regular hit, circle for contact, or square for power. Always use X. I've never seen a difference between X and power besides square means more swings and misses. Contact is just weak hits. So always use X. PCI Anchor is new and it's something I definitely recommend turning on, especially if you're new coming to the game. I think it's a great new feature. So PCI Anchor dots, make sure those are on. PCI last year was the first time you could really customize it and make it how you want it. I use circles, size of the baseball. It's just really easy for me to kind of square it up. Inner basic, inner basic. I I like yellow and then about 70 to 100 percent is what i use we'll turn this up a little bit and then i have the outer fade but this right here is all gonna be comfort just always make sure you have your pci on so pci anchor you're gonna press l3 and you're gonna pick and choose where you want it in those dots if you want to use this so if i struggle with up and in pitches i'm gonna have my pci sit up and in and what this means is if i let go of my controller instead of it being in the middle my pci will sit in that anchor spot that it's in right there or if I know he's gonna go low, I can put it down low and I know it's gonna be right there and then I can just react how I want. Then from a hitting standpoint, all you gotta do is you wanna just pay attention to the arm angle of your pitcher. So you just watch and then you kind of track it in. And that's why I like strike zone. You see how pitch 10, how just off it was? I was able to read that pretty easily. See that it was a ball off the plate where if I use zone, uh, like a zoom out offset or anything like that, it's gonna be harder to pick up those pitches that are just slightly off. And then the job from there is simply just to try to line up your PCI with the pitch. Hitting is far and away the hardest thing to do in MLB The Show, so I recommend before you ever get into a game, every single time, is to come into custom practice in practice before you get into the game. Even if that means going all the way on legend, so you're used to the, just those heaters coming in at you, and you're gonna be late, did I get that? No, I missed. And just work on your timing and being able to take pitches. That's one of the biggest things, especially for people new, is they feel like they swing at everything. If you could read pitches on Legends and tell if it's a ball or a strike and get your timing down there, you're gonna have no problem on anything else. It takes a little bit when, if you come on Legend though, it takes a little bit before you're used to that timing and everything and actually squaring balls up. But at the very least, play on Hall of Fame or All-Star because you're generally not gonna face anything lower than that online gameplay so at least practice what you're going to be playing against so the cool thing that they implemented last year is you can really customize your practice against things you struggle with for example i struggled with up and in sinkers last year it was the meta of the game so i can choose to just have sinkers be the pitch that is thrown and i can have a beat up and in i got a lefty pit hitting so we'll go like this so these are generally where the pitch is going to be located and it's going to be a sinker then we can start practice it allows me to really work on my timing on these pitches and trying to be able to drive them see my pci was still just a little bit off but then when you get into a game the pitch is going to look a lot slower and a lot bigger especially if you're doing this practice on legend so i recommend coming in here at least for like 10 minutes taking some swings especially for things you struggle with like sinkers for example and just work on taking pitches if it looks like it's off the plate really have a zone so if i want to start like oh one I want to start up and in so I don't get a fastball blown by me. If it's over on this side of the plate, just work on taking those pitches. But this is all about timing and swinging at good pitches. You do that, you will have a lot of success in this game. But anyways, boys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helps you out. Let me know in the comment section if you learned anything about pitching, fielding, or hitting. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I'll be happy to help. But until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.